what you want baby i got it oh what you need you know i got it hey all i'm asking is for some good eats with sneakies hey baby some good eats with sneakies hey What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shanice Alicia. If you didn't get it from the theme song, I am your host, Hucha, and I'm up out of breath. And of course, I have with me my co-host for the evening. Today we are going to be making stuffed bell peppers, you guys. Whew. Uh-uh. Hold on, hold on. Mm-mm. Hucha. Uh-uh. And here dancing and stuff, sliding my feet across this wood and I start a fire here. Whew. Okay, like I said in the previous Good Eats with Shanice, you can really change these recipes up and gear them for what works out best for you and your eating habits, your healthy lifestyle, whatever the case may be, this is just what I like. You can go with this kind of like a guideline, but you don't necessarily have to follow it step for step because everyone's preference is different, okay? I'm just giving you mine. Now, just a few things. Can somebody say yes to the lights, to the lights, to the lights because it is almost nine o'clock at night and it looks like this is broad daylight. And then, can we say, hello, hello, honeybee. Yes, baby. This honeybee hair that is about to go into a ponytail because if I wasn't on camera, yeah, I cook with the bonnet on or my wig cap because no hair in the food. But anyway, honeybee hair, you guys need to go and check it out. I will leave the link to the Instagram and the website down below in the description box. But I don't know if y'all see this. Whew. Baby, this hair, let me tell y'all, I got this hair in August. Started wearing it in September. Only took it out for maybe two or three weeks take care of your bundles baby and they'll take care of you and no i'm not sponsored to say none of this this is just good air anyway if you guys have made it this far go ahead thumbs it up comment your thoughts down below let me know if you're excited for this recipe and of course of course you right there hello y'all like these nails they're so pretty anyway you 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 press that red subscribe button baby and don't forget to tap the bell before you leave all right let me go do my hair Whew. Okay, hair is officially up, tucked <laughs> in a ponytail, not getting in anybody's food. I'm about to go ahead and wash my hands and we're gonna get into today's meal. Y'all tired of me singing? I don't care, let me wash my hands. Okay, so you know I'm going to give you guys angles. So um, everything will be nice and detailed. And of course I will leave all of the ingredients down below in the description box. So what i kind of did was prep for what i'm about to cook y'all the fastest thing that you can do in the kitchen is prep your food before you start cooking you'll definitely realize a difference when your cook time goes from 45 minutes to about 15 to 20 minutes because honestly the longest stage should be prepped so i am going to show you guys a clip of me de-seeding taking out the core of the of the bell pepper i'm sure there's a technical term for that but i did remove all of the seeds and wash the inside and outside of my bell peppers i have some freshly chopped onion mushroom and green bell pepper i do have some mozzarella cheese and then i did break down my spices which are oregano parsley italian seasoning and also paprika i do have ground turkey that's what i'll be using for today's recipe like i said if you want to do this with chicken shrimp uh ground beef ground chicken if you want to do this with vegetables do whatever works for you your diet not mine this is just me living my life thank you and then also you guys i am going to be using a ragu sauce it is mama special garden sauce chunky chunky i started using this because i really like that herbal kind of taste just like real earthy and good and then it also has like a little sweetness to it so it tastes really good whenever you're mixing it up with your meat and yeah i'm out of breath i'm tired of talking let's let's get into things What's up, y'all? AC girl, Shanice Alicia, and mm. 
Do I need some water? My mouth sound all nasty. So we're about to go ahead and get into the meat of this meal. Pun intended, pun intended y'all. And um, I'm just going to start of course by turning my stove onto medium heat and then I'm going to take my ground turkey straight from the package, place it in here, brown it, then I'll add in all my vegetables, spices and seasoning and then we'll move into the sauce, letting it simmer, prepping our bell peppers and that's the meal y'all. One thing that I will mention, I do put a small amount of butter into the pan with my ground turkey because unlike ground ground beef it does not create its own oil as well and it can be a little sticky situation literally sometimes so I just go in with a very thin slice of butter just to kind of get my pan nice and prepped up so that my meat will ground nicely once this melts I'll go ahead and add it in it's totally preference you guys if you want to use an olive oil or spray your pan down or just go in with the ground turkey do your thing. Uh oh. Well, um, <clears throat> that went as planned. <laughs> And most times I do like to put the lid on it because it speeds up the cook time just a little bit so your meat will ground a little bit faster. And then of course I'll remove that lid and go in and mix it around. And don't forget guys, as your meat is browning and you're going in to stir it to ensure every little bit browns Thoroughly, you want to use your cooking utensil just to kind of break it apart into smaller pieces. This is why I usually use a spatula whenever I'm doing this and then switch it into a spoon once I am done with this process. And guys, I did turn up the stove just a little bit because I wanted to speed this process up. You can keep it on medium heat. Just remember the higher it is, the more attention it needs. I do like to drain my meat. If you don't, you can skip this step, but I personally, I'm gonna drain all of this. I'm draining all of that. And my meat is nice and cooked. I can't say brown for real because ground turkey just be looking so unappealing. Oh Jesus. So, returning our meat to my pot I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down just a little bit because the vegetables don't need all of this rah-rah going on inside of the pan so just to even it out a little bit first I'm going to of course start by seasoning my meat and of course I'm using my Tony's original Creole seasoning it's my favorite I'm now going to go in with some onion powder and then also garlic powder if you follow me and you know me I kind of use these on a regular in that Z pattern you guys I do switch it up sometimes but I'm pretty consistent at the ingredients that I use to season so also my garlic pepper is is what I'm going to go in with next. You really have to boost up this ground turkey, y'all. I'm not kidding. So before I distribute this out, I'm gonna go ahead in and add my vegetables just so they can catch all of those seasonings as well. I'm putting them all in at the same time. You don't have to wait. Y'all, the smell of just fresh vegetables and good seasoning cooking up in your house is something else, y'all. Like, oh we. Now, ground turkey is one of those meats that you kind of need to taste test before you move into the next phase. And 
don't don't get the acting brand new like he ain't go get the spoon while your mama back was turned and hit on it a little bit so you could really know what it was talking about so that's what i'm about to do taste test ready all right so just a swig more nothing more or less so with my herbal spices, I used about a teaspoon of each. Y'all, this is real extra. You don't have to necessarily prep your stuff like that. I'm just here for the ambiance and just the feel of being a real cook, okay? So you can go straight from the bottle. So just mixing this all in. And now we smelling like an Italian kitchen, y'all. It smells so good in here everything is blending together well i know it tastes good since i already kind of had a little preview i know exactly what is needed like i said i season to taste you guys don't have to season with what i'm using nor do you have to season as much or as little as i may be it's all about preference you guys so while those are sitting in there as i told you guys before i'm a clean as you goer okay so i'm just going to clean off my countertop I'm not going to wash dishes just yet um, I'm going to wait until I put the sauce in and my oven is warming up before I start washing any dishes all right this is the sauce that I was telling you guys about it's totally up to you you don't have to use this brand you don't have to use this particular flavor it's whatever you want to do so let's get into this And of course, I'm not going to measure out. Y'all know the little motion that I like to use in order to add my sauce in. I actually have, y'all like how I whipped it around like that, huh? I actually have some that I've used before, so I'm going to finish that bottle up because there's a little bit left in there. Now that's the secret weapon right there. If your mama ain't teach you that, you're welcome. That's what seals the deal right there. Just add a little bit of water to the little can and you just get it right on your meat like that and just, whoo wee baby. Looks great, smells even better. I wish y'all could smell through the camera. So now what I'm going to do is of course, simmer this for a while. So I'm going to replace the lid and then we're going to turn my heat down a little bit and we're going to set our oven for 350. Hey y'all, <laughs> what's going on? How y'all over here doing? <laughs> Corey, Topanga, how's everybody doing? Great, awesome. Um, Yeah, 350 is a pretty good temperature that you do want to set for these bell peppers. They're not going to be in there for long because everything is cooked. You're only letting your peppers cook for a little bit to soften up, but you do want to keep the crunch of them. And of course, you're allowing your cheesy, 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 cheesy to melt. So that's what we're doing so while the meat is simmering and <laughs> the oven is warming up your girl is about to wash some dishes so first up first up first up in the batter gauge we have the strainer the spoon that i use to taste test i believe that's also the spoon that i use to measure everything out um you guys don't care okay let me just wash the dishes and show you Tell me how you want it, hey. I'll give it to you this angle. Hey guys, it's your girl, Shanice Alicia. All right, so um, got another angle going here. As you see, I removed my meat from the burner that it was on cooking because it's all nice and ready. If you ask me, 
I'm ready. So now I'm going to just change out the utensil, of course, that I'm using to distribute my meat. So a little spoony, spoony, spoon. And now I'm going to spoon everything into my bell peppers. Um, now guys, you can be extremely gentle during this step and kind of do maybe a few spoons in one move on to the next just to make sure that you don't run out of meat now when i used to do this a while back before i started limiting the amount of carbs that i'm taking in i was using rice to base the bottom of my bell peppers and then putting the meat on top and i used to layer it pretty heavy with cheese you know so since this is a little healthier style um, for me personally, I'm not going to do any rice and I'm not going to be doing five layers with cheese and meat and all of that But you guys are more than welcome to whatever floats your boat. You can do it as such But it's pretty satisfying with all the vegetables and the meat alone to me um, Yeah, y'all so like I said gear these for how they're going to fit your lifestyle not mine all right so now you can kind of go back in and start filling all of them up as you know that you have enough meat in the base layer of them so these peppers are kind of big which is a really good thing um your peppers may be a little bit smaller bigger you might be layering them in with rice and whatever else so it's totally fine what amount of meat you go in with what amount of everything you go in with because ultimately you have to eat it and this suffices good enough for one serving by itself you don't even need nothing else on the side um before i started this little healthy journey chair i would put a little garlic stick on the side and a little cheesy bread little texas toast but you know i've learned that less is more <laughs> so now i'm just going to go in and Salt Bay, but we gon' cheese bay. Hey guys, another angle here. It's your girl, Shanice. So here they are guys. You don't need to put anything at the bottom of your pan, nor do you need to grease it. This is just serving as a holder so that your bell peppers aren't falling all over the place and they can cook nice and evenly. I'm gonna leave these in here for about maybe 10 minutes or so just to melt the cheese and get the pepper a little cooked and then we'll be back. Well, um, kitchen clean. Look who came back out to play. I'm about to grab these out of the oven, you guys, and we're going to have a bite and I'm going to wrap up. No, you motherfucker. I said, give me a minute. Let me talk to the phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Then we're gonna wrap up today's video. Excuse me, let me deal with my unpleasant oven. Oh my goodness can somebody say food porn oh my god they look so good nice and juicy juicy and we're about to go in for a bite no nope. i can't wait until they cool down y'all they look so good now remember i told you guys it's totally up to you as to how much time you want to leave them in there for these are perfect to me. The cheese is melted. I already know the meat is cooked and the bell pepper is still crunchy. I left them in for about 15 minutes, guys. So Ooh, let's get into this bite. Yum, 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 yum. I am about to go in and taste what we worked so hard on creating tonight. So knife and fork, okay? And I'm just going to cut a little piece of my pepper off. You see that? Ooh, quality. Ooh, we. Mmm. 
Hold on. Let me get another one. It's crunchy, but not overbearing. Oh. Uh oh. I ain't trying to thug it like that. Like, we ain't finna be out here hoggish and doggish like that. Like, mm. Mm mm. Wow. Wow. If you like peppers, you'll really, really like this. You don't need to put them in the oven for too long because that crunch come. Y'all, didn't I say I wasn't gonna eat this whole thing? Oh my God. Five hours later. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed tonight's episode of Good Eats with Shanice. Thank you all for tuning in. Get into these angles. Get into these ingredients. Get into this recipe. Period. There's a period. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. Like I said earlier, you guys can create this meal with any type of meat, vegetables, whatever you want to, whether you're using ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef, shrimp, chicken, tofu, veggies alone. Whatever. Whatever you feel like you want to put inside of these peppers, do so. Mix it up. Have fun with it. Change up the serving sizes. Change up your seasonings, your spices. The list can go on. Have fun cook get into putting good things into your body so that you can see good things on the outside anyway you already know if you've made it this far duh you guys you have to press the thumbs up button to let me know how you guys are feeling about this series here on my channel don't forget to comment your thoughts of course down below let me know if you've been cooking what i've been cooking get into my kitchen if you do not follow me on instagram i'll put it right here so you guys can go ahead and follow me on my instagram no i do not post my food onto my page but i do a lot of times boomerang and post it onto my stories and last but not least, you guys, press that red subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell before you get out of here. All right, guys. Peace.